Hallelujah. Blessed Sunday and thank you all for connecting and listening. Welcome to the third day of our three days fasting and prayers. Hallelujah. To God be the glory for the grace and strength um, to be able to finish strong. We are giving God the praise and honor because it's only by his own power and strength that we would have been able to do it. And we did it because he strengthened us. He gave, He strengthened us by his power and his strength. And we are thankful, Lord. Thank you, Almighty God. There's no like on today for everlasting to everlasting. You are God. You remain a God. Your word this year and amen. We are grateful, God. You are the omnipotent, Lord. You are the great one. You are the lily of the valley, the bright and the morning star. You are Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. You are the Prince of Peace. Shalom is your name. You are God of peace. We give you all the praise, O oh Lord, bread of life. You are you are our defense, our rock. You are everything to us, and we are grateful, O oh God. Thank you, everlasting Father. We put this um they into their hands father have your way even as i speak to your daughters uh, your daughters into the sense of the most high god i ask oh lord that you speak through me i have no power of my own but lord i rely upon you to lead me to speak to through me to use me as a vessel oh lord in the name of jesus even as the listening let them not be hearers alone of your word, but do us, O oh God. Give us all the grace and the strength, O oh Lord, Father, Lord, to be faithful, O oh God, in doing your will and your will alone. To you be all the glory and praise in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And happy Mother's Day to all the dynamic and blessed women and mothers and to all the dynamic and wonderful women who are expecting who are pregnant hallelujah and those who are believing god for the fruit of the womb those who are in the waiting god bless you all and happy mother's day amen 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 hallelujah today is the last day of our three days um fasting and prayers today is day three Woo-hoo! we give god the praise amen for how thus far he's been with us and i just came on to round up for us to round up the prayers because the fasting is ending today in a couple of um, the next hour end um, at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Hallelujah. So I decided to come on to um, lead us in prayers and also to just encourage someone today that we have done our own part. We have prayed. We have waited on the Lord the Most High. Now it's time for us to believe. It's time for us to believe and trust God and see God do mighty things hallelujah um i'm here to just encourage someone to just um tell someone that the lord loves you god loves you so much we have prayed and i'm here to also tell you what you need to be doing while you wait on god to answer your prayer while you wait on god to god's the god to um begin to like god's answers to your prayers begin to manifest pray that will begin to manifest in your life amen amen so while we are waiting while we've done we've done our own path we've prayed to god we've waited on god uh, in fasting and prayers we need to believe so i came to i came to tell you this evening believe put on the garment of uh, remove the garment of doubt and believe put on the garment of faith put on the garment of faith garment of boldness hallelujah because why waiting we need to believe and start praising him you need to wake up every morning you need to wake up every day just thanking him and praising him and saying i thank you lord because i am wonderfully made i am fearfully made i am carrying my seed ah thank you oh lord because this is my month of evidence hallelujah you need to start celebrating because where some of us, when we let's say if we win a lottery, um, they announce that you've won a lottery, you've won a million dollars. Even before you receive the money, before the money gets to you, start celebrating, right? That's the same thing. You've prayed to God Almighty. You, you've prayed to God Almighty. You've told God your heart desires. 
And what you need to do now is start praising and celebrating way ahead of time. Just start thanking. You wake up every morning. You're dancing. You're playing your best worship. You're praising God. You're carrying yourself. You're like, oh, I'm, I know, I know, I'm gonna be a joyful mother very soon. Oh my God! You, you know, you believe, believe, call it forth. Hallelujah! I'm gonna read from Jeremiah 32, verse 27. We says, "Behold, I am the Lord." the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me to do? No, there's not. There's nothing too hard for him at all. So you just need to know that God has done it because there's nothing, nothing on this earth, nothing at all is too hard for Almighty God to do. That's including your petitions. That's including your requests to God, your prayers that you have prayed to God today. There's nothing impossible for him to do. There's nothing too hard for him to do. This is just very, very easy, an easy thing for him. So you just need to be praising him, celebrating, thanking him because you know he has done it. He has done it for you. He has done it for you. If only we can believe anything we ask according to his will. And asking for a child is according to God's will. It is his will for us to be fruitful. It is his will for you to be fruitful. It is his God's will for you to multiply and replenish the earth. Hallelujah. From today, you need to put on the garment of all is well. <laughs> if people ask you, bring up the topic that has to do with your conception, all you need to say to everybody, say to them is, all is well. As you are dancing and singing, you wake up in the morning, you look at yourself in the morning and say, all is well with me. All is well with my womb. All is well with my unborn children. Ha. All is well with, all, with my reproductive organs. All is well with my ovaries. All is well with me. Hallelujah. You just need to believe. And if you believe, it will come to pass. And no matter the situation, I don't care what the situation is. I don't care what the, the negative um, evil reports. Doctor's report that you got from the doctor. I don't care about the past negative pregnancy tours that you've gotten. I just want you to believe that this is your time. This is your season. No matter what it looks like, just know that all is well. <laughs> Hallelujah. If God is able to resurrect the dead, then God is able to do it in your life. Just know and just say, all is well. I believe. I know that all is well. Your situation is never too big for God to take care of. Your situation is never too bad for God to change. God is a powerful God. All you need to do is to make your request unto him, which we have done during our three days dry fast. Doing our three days fasting. And I know that God has answered our prayers, has answered our petitions. Hallelujah. All we need to do is start giving praise to God, start praising Him, start giving, start believing. Don't be anxious, don't be fearful, don't doubt. Just start praising Him, start celebrating because it is your time and season. Hallelujah. Because it's your time to be celebrated. Nothing is too hard for our God to do. I'm going to say it again. Nothing is too hard for him to do. He will do exactly what he says he will do. All you need to do is believe. Don't try to figure it out for God. That is the problem. A lot of, a lot of times we try to figure things out for God. We try to figure it out for God. No. You just stay on your own belief and let him do it. Keep believing. And while you are believing and praising God, start picking out, babies, picking out names for your baby. Start picking out names for your babies. <laughs> start buying baby clothes. Start praying on them. Start declaring. Start when you wake up in the morning. Say, John, you are blessed and highly favored. Hmm. Deborah, you are blessed and highly favored. Uh, you shall be the head and not the tail. I will carry you to term. You are, you, you, oh my God. You just start declaring. Place your hand on your tummy. Place your hand on your belly. And just declare. Call the baby. Call the name of your baby. The names that you have chosen for your baby. He who has promised, the God that has promised, is faithful to complete it and bring it to come to pass.
He just needs you to be ready and get in alignment with His will. Nothing is too hard for Him to do. You walk around, declaring to yourself, I am expecting, I am happy. I know good things are coming my way. My good news is on the way. <laughs> my evidence is almost is here. I will carry it soon. Be positive. Say positive things to yourself. Declare positive things to your life, to yourself, to your womb. Surrender everything to God and just leave it for Him to do. Let Him handle it. Don't figure it out for Him. Just know something good is coming. Wait. Ah, just wait. Be patient. And just believe. Because if you have a if you expectant, you will receive. You will surely receive what you are expecting. Hmm. Only believe. Only believe. God will do what he says he will do. God will take care of all the unbelief. Just, just do your own part and believe. Believe that Jesus is the Son of God. And He's faithful to do all that He has promised. And one thing is that you need to be transparent with God. When you pray to God and say, God, I believe, but help my unbelief. Shy for those who don't believe, who you struggle with believing. So one minute you believe, the other minute you don't believe. You're like, uh, I don't know if this is going to happen. Please then pray to God Almighty and say, God, I believe, but I want you to help my unbelief and he will help you so that you can totally believe and be forecast, be forecast on praising him, on thanking him, believing that he has done it and it will come to pass. Because if you believe, it will surely come to pass. Whatever you are believing will come to pass. That's one thing I know. Because there's nothing too hard for God to do. Just pray in faith and believe it has been done. Some of you pray. Some of you pray. But you don't believe. And if you don't believe, you're limiting yourself. You're creating a problem for yourself. Because prayer shifts, shifts everything. I am a living testimony and a witness to it. Prayers shifts everything. Prayers and faith moves mountains. Faith moves God. It may tarry, but surely to come to pass. And this month is that month for it to come to pass. Somebody shout, Amen. Amen. Stop figuring it out for God. Don't worry how He's going to do it. He will do it. If you believe, he will do it. And I want someone today, I've someone today to start believing God. To put to, to believe that after these three days fasting and prayers that we have done, that it is settled. That God has done it. So dearly beloved. All I needed to do is to put on the garment of faith, garment of boldness, garment of thanksgiving. Begin to thank God. Begin to rejoice. Begin to celebrate because he has done it. Because you will carry your own seed. Because you will give birth to your own baby, to your own bundle of joy. You will be a joyful mother of children. You see, I said children. Yes. Because you will not have just one, you will have as many as you want. God will give you twins if that's what you want. God will give you triplets. And if you just want one baby, he will give you. But just believe that this is the month, this is the season in this month of grace, a month of multiplication. It is your time. And I'm coming with this word today, Mother's Day, and it's a special Mother's Day gift to you. That's listening to me. God has answered your prayers. God is giving you answers to your prayers. This is your season. It's time to shine. It's time for you to be celebrated. You have celebrated with others. It's time for you to be celebrated. 
So put on the garment of celebration. Hallelujah. Thank you, Almighty God, for this word. Thank you, Father, for speaking through me, for using me, O oh God, as an instrument, O oh God, to pass this message, this message to your children, O oh God. I pray, O oh Lord, that you give them the grace to believe, O oh God, to have faith in your word and in you, O oh God. To know that for sure that you have done it for them. And so shall it be. I pray, oh God, that you give them an evidence, oh God. Let there be signs, oh God. That their three days fasting and prayers is not a waste. And so shall it be. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. I'm going to declare some prayers. And all I wanted to say is say amen, hallelujah. And it's my special uh, mother's day gift to you, hallelujah. I just want you to know that something is about to break out in your life. I can feel it and I know you should be feeling it. Something is about to break out in your life. You are about to carry your own seed. You are about to be celebrated. Good news is coming your way. In the name of Jesus, amen. I decree and I prophesy that you receive divine restoration to your health and healing to your body, to your reproductive organ and system. In the name of Jesus, amen. By the stripes of the Most High, you are healed of any diseases or infirmities in your life. In the name of Jesus, amen. I declare your organs are functioning well and beyond expectations. In the name of Jesus, amen. The word of God sets you free and you are free indeed. In the name of Jesus, amen. Every negative report, medical report, every negative doctor report is canceled right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, amen. You shall carry your seed. Carry your seed now in the name of Jesus, amen. We cancel every barrenness. We cancel every label of barrenness upon your life. In the name of Jesus, amen. You are fruitful and we multiply. In the name of Jesus, you are fruitful and we multiply. In the name of Jesus, every damaged organ in your life, in your body, receive life now, in the name of Jesus, amen, every damaged organ be replaced now with brand new ones, in the name of Jesus, amen, angels begin to perform heavenly surgeries upon your daughters, in the name of Jesus, some of you begin to feel a movement in your womb, you begin to feel a movement inside of you. Don't be scared. Don't be afraid. That is the angels of the most high God doing that thing. That is God working. Hallelujah. I declare good health upon you from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. In the name of Jesus, amen. All every diseases in your womb or organs die by fire, die by fire, die by fire. In the name of Jesus, amen. Blood of Jesus cleanse all your organs and whoop. In the name of Jesus, amen. Every fibroid, every cyst begin to melt now. Begin Begin to melt now. Begin to melt now. In the name of Jesus, amen. Begin to melt now. In the name of Jesus, amen. Begin to melt now. In the name of Jesus, amen. I command every diseases, every growth to begin to bow and get out by fire from your body now. In the name of Jesus, amen. Every evil growth be cut off now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, amen. I want you to declare, even as I declare right now after me with your hands on your belly, say, I am healed in Jesus' name. Three times. I am healed healed in Jesus' name. I am healed in Jesus' name. I am healed in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to declare three times that I am healthy. Say, I am healthy. Amen. I am healthy. Amen. I am healthy. Amen. I want you to declare that I am fruitful and shall multiply in the name of you three times. I am fruitful and I shall multiply. I am fruitful and I shall multiply. I am fruitful and I shall multiply in the name of Jesus. Amen. You have declared and you shall receive and have what you have declared in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God is for you. He will show up for you. God is for you. He will show up for you. He can do all things. He has never lost a battle and he never fails. He has done it and I want you to believe that he has done it. There's no one like him from everlasting to everlasting. He is God and will always be God. Thank you, Jehovah God, for answering our prayers. Thank you, Jehovah God, for these declarations, O oh God. Thank you, Jehovah God, because you're coming through in the life of your daughters, O oh God. Thank you, Jehovah God, because you're giving them a testimony, O oh God. Thank you, Jehovah God, because they're coming with their miracle babies. By this time, next day, they'll have their miracle babies in their hand. In the name of Jesus, amen. Blessed be your holy name, O God. 
To you be all the glory. To you be all the honor. To you be all the praise. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Glory to the King of Kings. We bless you, Lord. Thank you, everlasting Father. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Dynamic and favored women of the Most High God, favored daughters of God. Thank you so much for watching, for listening, for connecting, and for praying along. God has answered your prayers. Your prayers has been answered. It is settled. And so shall it be. Come back and testify. Hallelujah. Come back with your testimony. Say amen. And congratulations to all the expect and, and, and all the mothers to be hallelujah <laughs> here under my voice congratulations it's your season it's your time to shine it's your time to be celebrated have a blessed week god bless you shalom <music>